What's going on guys, GSNOTE here, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to jailbreak any 32-bit device running iOS 8.4.1 untethered. And uh, yes, we're going to do that using the ATA Zone GB which has been released today. Now Teamstar has finally released the jailbreak and it's available in here on teamstar.net slash ATA Zone GB. Now if you click in here you're going to get the IPA, it's the RC2, release candidate 2, and uh, you have the hashes down in here. In order to jailbreak you need to go ahead and download CDI Impactor which will be in the description down below and I have my test device in here. Then you get the IPA, drag it and drop it and you need to log in into your Apple ID and password. Do not worry, the credentials are not saved in CDI Impactor, they're just sent to the Apple servers to sign the IPA. Alright, so uh, after you sign in you're going to see this progress bar in there and you're going to wait for the application to be deployed to the device. Now we're going to need to move to the device itself as the uh, the process is carried there. All right, so here's the device uh, and we're running iOS 8.4.1 on an iPod Touch 5th generation. You can see the um, ATA Soon GB application with the GB logo in here. And if you open it, you see the credits and a big ATA Soon GB button. And once you press it, it's going to jailbreak your device untethered on iOS 8.4.1. So I'm going to do it and be right back. All right, so uh, my device has restarted and you can see in here that I do have Cydia. And as I said, this is an untethered jailbreak, which means I can simply go ahead and remove this jailbreak application now, since it's no longer of any use for me because the jailbreak persists even if I restart the device. Now opening Cydia, you can see it works perfectly fine, it loads up. I have already installed the um, essential packages, so it's not going to show that, because uh, I have already you know, tested, and you can see it does show up whatever it should be in there. And uh, you see we have all the repos, including the mode my, and let's try to install something, that being Fileza which is a file manager. Okay, files a file manager, click install and let's see how it does. Okay, confirm. And as you can see, it started to install anything. I've got the storage almost full and uh, yeah, we're waiting for it to, to finish the installation and we will be good to go. But yeah, as you can see, the jailbreak does work. I think it's, it's clear enough that the, uh, the jailbreak is working properly. We're going to also test files out to see whether it starts or not. And um, yeah, you can go ahead and start, you know, seeing which tweaks are working, which are not and, and stuff like that. But pay attention to what are you installing because uh, some of the tweaks might not be compatible as iOS 8.4.1 didn't have a um, complete jailbreak solution up to this point. So give the uh, developers a few days to update their tweaks and so on. I'm going to go back in here and you can see we do have Falza. Let's try to open it. And as you can probably see, it does work properly and I can uh, I can use the application. So the jailbreak works as it should. Yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Till the next time, don't forget to subscribe for more jailbreak videos and peace out.